The field of Republicans running for president is down to 16 now that former Texas Governor Rick Perry has dropped out. Perry took a parting shot at the frontrunner Donald Trump last night, and today Trump fired back. Here's Juliana Goldman. Mr. Perry, Governor Perry, he's gone. Good luck. Oh, he was very nasty to me. Donning a new camouflage campaign hat, a triumphant Donald Trump said farewell to former Texas Governor Rick Perry, who once called him a cancer on conservatism. It certainly seems to be unlucky to attack him. He issued a warning shot to just about anybody who's taken him on, like Senator Rand Paul, who in a tweet questioned why a reality star is leading the Republican field. And former neurosurgeon Ben Carson, who earlier this week stepped into the Trump boxing ring when he questioned the brash billionaire's faith. I realize where my success has come from. And I don't in any way deny my faith in God. And I think uh, that probably is a big difference here. Carson later apologized. He surged to second place behind Trump, with one new poll showing him within striking distance in Iowa, backed by 21 percent of likely caucus goers, compared to 27 percent for Trump. Who wants it? Come on. Give me one. Good. Campaigning there today, Trump still claimed the outsider mantle, colorfully discussing his self-funded campaign and the money he's turning away. I feel sort of foolish because guys are coming up to me saying, I want to put millions of dollars, one guy, five million dollars, and I'm turning them down. I say, I don't want it. Trump is also promising to release a tax plan in the next few weeks. He said hedge fund managers will have to pay up because they laugh all the way to the bank. You don't typically hear tough talk toward Wall Street from Republicans, but Jim, that unorthodox style seems to be working for Trump. Juliana Goldman in our Washington newsroom. Juliana, thank you.